Happy good afternoon. Yeah. Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal uh, Pietro Perilin said, quote, on the, uh, discussing the Ukraine war, quote, this war risks dragging us into a nuclear confrontation, a descent into the abyss. He just said that. What's the State Department's reaction to that statement by yeah. the Cardinal? Um, that we want to see the war end in a way that provides a just and lasting peace for Ukraine. Um, but the way for that to happen is for Vladimir Putin to end his attacks on, um, uh, on the people of Ukraine. But the war is, is now a thousand days old as of tomorrow. Simply who's winning and who's losing? I'm not, estimation. I am not going to give you a day-to-day -day battlefield assessment here, but if you look at what Ukraine has done, going back to the beginning of this conflict, at least to the full-scale invasion, we have seen them win the Battle of Kyiv and stop Kyiv from falling when many, many predicted that it would fall within a month, um, certainly within weeks. We have seen them take back uh, somewhere around half of the territory that Russia occupied. We have seen them in recent weeks occupy territory inside Russia and continue to defend it. So uh, the Ukrainian forces have, have performed admirably up against, let's remember, a much bigger country with a military that was much larger at the outside of the outset of this conflict, with a military that had much more advanced equipment at the outset of this conflict, a gap that we have in many respects bridged through the provision of our uh, assistance. So uh, I'm not going to make any predictions about uh, the future of this conflict, but I'll say if you look back at the way the Ukrainian military has performed over the past uh, two and a half years, um, they have performed not just with valor and with dedication, but uh, with real results. How does it all come to an end then? I'm not going to make any um, uh, uh, predictions about how it comes to an end, but we want it to come to an end in a way that respects Ukraine's uh, territorial integrity, that respects its sovereignty, um, and that doesn't reward a dictator who is intent on um, pursuing the acquisition of land through force. Right, go ahead.